I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Tell me where that man is at. Till you find that man, you dead up here, man. You dead, man. Right. Check, check, check. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Up early. About to work out. But before I work out, it's got to get that workout. Hopefully, it all works out. Um, Math Hoffa. Salute to Math Hoffa and everything that he has going on personally and professionally. Uh, you know, I know you've been talking a lot recently. You got your show. You wanted to talk about battling loaded lux. A lot of people was like, Hell no, that's not a look for you. I was like, if it's gonna get booked, we'll see what happens, things like that. And um, Beloved has got hold of what you've been saying and he addressed it. You know, he basically was like, no, 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 no. Like, this is not what you wanna do. I think his man called it slap box with closed fist, uh, saying that this ain't, this ain't, you might get what you want, but you may not want what you get. Uh, Loaded Lux pretty much was looking towards the notion of that's not what he wants to do. Like, he has no interest in battling on Math Hoffa. And basically said that he likes what Math Hoffa is doing in the media light, compared him to Joe Budden, and basically was like, uh, nah, nah, that's not what we're trying to do. I do have the clip, a clip from it, you know what I'm saying? I seen it last night. Uh, I will put it at the end of this. Y'all know how I do. I don't, I don't want to just grab the stream without the context, you know what I'm saying? Like that, for me, that's just a little too easy for me to just grab a stream and, you know what I mean? I would rather post some context and I want y'all to have my thoughts before we get in the court. So, um, Math, you know, we he's known for having his outspoken opinion, his expert opinion about things. And uh, he has to understand that when you do have an opinion, people are gonna have theirs back. and um. Loaded Lux basically was like, no, no, like his energy was not even anywhere towards even entertaining a Math Hoffa battle. Like, there's just something that he called it the CBA. Do y'all know what the CBA, the CBA was? The Continental Basketball Association, which was like the Diet NBA. There were some players that came through the CBA. Uh, this was like a league that was formed way back in like the 50s. And then it became like the little, little brother to the NBA. Kind of like how the G League is now, but not so much like the G League because they were in like direct competition with them. And it was na it was a nasty league. It really had, it was, they had teams like in Albany and Chattanooga, all these places where you would never want to live, right? And no knock to anybody that lives in these places. Um, I'll have somebody in the comments like, I live in Chattanooga, don't you ever? We're not doing that. Um, John Starks played in the CBA before he went to the NBA. Uh, I believe Tim Legler played in the CBA. This is like trivia right now, right? So um, there's some players that did play in the CBA, but not no real big stars, you know? And NBA players, NBA teams would send their players to the CBA to develop. But basically in correspondence to battle rap, it's just, he's just saying like, this is, he's not, this is not where he's going with his career. He, he has no intention. He did talk about the next situation is that daylight thing, you know what I'm saying? That daylight thing, saying that that daylight battle is is pretty much what he's got going on next. But as far as uh, entertaining math, he was like, nah, I like what you're doing as far as with the show and as far as what you're doing to help build and elevate the culture. But uh, no, and I know math, he said something about y'all I don't, don't think it could happen, come outside, Lux. He's basically like going after Loaded Lux for a battle. And math did battle Hollow to Dawn. He beat Hollow to Don, but you know, a lot of people are saying it's because of the situation. He was rattled, had Hollow's enemies on stage and shit like that. But I don't really want to dig that deep into it. Math won the battle and that was what it was. Um, and Math is like really adamant about how he 3 0 Jack. I don't have his battle with Jack at 3 0. I have it at 2 1, but I don't have it at 3 0. And um, I think when it comes to the battles, like they got to call it. A little bit like it is, you know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to the battles, even if you think you beat somebody 3-0, other people are not wrong for feeling like somebody won around. People are not wrong for feeling like somebody won the battle. Like they're not wrong. It's an opinionated sport, but you can't change other people's opinions. 
I was watching his his episode, the one that people hit me off to, saying that yo, he was saying that y'all get the bars wrong a lot. That's his opinion. I have a, I have millions and I have 26, 27 million views of people who watch recaps and that hold on to what we do here. So I didn't feel a way about it, but uh, in that same episode, they were trying to insinuate that Cortez be easy to block captain. And he clearly lost. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that's not even a debate. So I think the, the 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 fucking poll was like 90 to like 10 or something like that. So if you're gonna say things about battle rap and you gotta keep it honest, in order to keep it a buck, you gotta be honest. You can't just move the goalpost when it benefits what you got going on. Y'all know he didn't. And then there were, I think those people that said they didn't even see the battle. But so. That's a different story, but we, this is what I do. I do this on a, on a high, 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 high level, you know what I'm saying? Lux is not going to tell me I don't know what I'm doing as far as with this over here, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to call us the CPA. But uh, salute to math, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you, got, you, got a, you got a platform, so I know you're going to address the Loaded Lux situation. I respect what you do, uh, but Loaded Lux was like, nah, uh-uh, no way. He said, uh-uh. And I think he was kind of like appalled. And what I do know about Loaded Lux, although he is an enigma, and you don't really see him, like he don't really do social media like that. He has an Instagram, he has a Twitter, but he don't really tweet like that. He don't really be, he, pro, he promotes his, what he got going on, but he's not gonna be on there day by day going back and forth with fans or going back and forth with different battlers and stuff like that. So when he saw it, his man who's the engineer in the studio had showed him what was going on, he was like, yo, like, he do this? Like, this is really how, and his man was like, he, he do this every day. He was like, nah, 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 I gotta put an end to this. I got to put an end to this right now. He said, hell no. So, like I said, I do think Mav is a talented artist. I think Loda Lux is a talented artist, but uh, he basically shut down the whole notion of him ever battling against a Mav. He was like, nah, it's not happening. Um, for now, that's what, he just said he didn't want to do this. He said he felt bad, like he'll feel bad to to to, to do what he was saying. Got like your skill set. He talked about your when somebody says your skill set, that just means that you don't. He don't think you got the skills to pay the bills. Uh, you know. So salute to every single one of y'all out there. I don't want to drag this out and make it any longer than it needs to be. But uh, yeah, peep this. Go. Holla. See what niggas is talking. I, I want to hear. From, I want to hear from the horse's mouth. Giving me an album. Give me Lorded Lux, whoever he is. Send gray hoodie Lux to black hoodie Hoffa. Let's see what happens. Gray hoodie Lux versus black hoodie Hoffa. Let's see what happens. What? Ah, niggas making that thing. Say hammer, here you go again. You about to get clipped. You about to get clipped. Play with Lie, the goat clips already did that. Yeah, did yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, if you watch on. Um, pause that, pause that, pause that. Hold on. Watch live. Oh, it's, it's, and it's, he says there's no one? Almost every day. What we talked about. He does this almost every day. Nah. Every day. And he keeps saying, yo, somebody call out Beloved. Let him know. Document this. The first time I'm hearing about this shit. Rudy was not brought me to the studio. But I can't even record something. He said, yo, you got to see this shit. Like, I've been... Yeah, he's seen... You've been seeing it every day. Every day, bro. Every day. Like clockwork. Every day. Every day. <laughs> yo, the crazy shit about this... Listen, I tell you, hey, don't get it twisted. Yo, you know, man. My eyes set on daylight, you know what I'm saying, right now. I just... I just be like... Listen, I'm humble for the rumble. I'm flattered. I'm like, you know... My position be weird, though, about, like, certain shit, though, sometimes. It's crazy, like, because I know it's love, and I know it's, 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 it's other sport. It's camaraderie. And outside of, you know, just contention in, in the battle, you know what I'm saying, I, I've grown to have a, 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 a great respect for Hoffa, you know what I'm saying, as a man, you know what I'm saying, everything he's doing, you know what I'm saying, true love. But that, that thing, though, come, come on, Hoffa, like, come on. Talk my shit now. Politics all over with, man. <laughs> Yo, Hoffa, my nigga. Bro. 
Like you, you know what I'm saying? You do what you do. You know what I'm saying? And if a nigga y'all can document this, send it to him, tell him I'm on here talking. Bro, Hoffa, no, Hoffa, no. No. Yo, bro. No, bro. And listen, listen. You love, love. I'm talking skill set though. Bro. Damn, man. Cause I, 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 huh? But skill set, my nigga. Bro, this, bro, this shit like CBA, my nigga. Bro, that shit like CBA. I can't. Bro, I, and I don't take nothing from you, bro. But as far as going there, bro, you know I'm, bro, you know I'm going to go there. Oh, man. I just can't believe it. My expert opinion don't do this. But if, I guess I just... If it's just for, for conversation purposes, cool, man. And then another reason why I listen, man. I I like your expert opinion, bro. I like you in that frame. It's like when Joe Buttons first started, he did Total Slaughter. No, no, but started his shit. That shit started rocking, you know. That's how I see, like, how I love you in this new space, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to look at you like, you know what I mean? So we can't go from that interview and then be in this space. It don't even feel now it's like I feel like I'm I'm going I'm going to the family cookout, like just swinging on up, like yo, popping on them, like come on, bro. I don't want, I don't want that, bro. I don't want that. Slap boxing with a closed fist. I can't. You feel me? I can't slap. Oh man, you. Nigga said slap my Listen, this is rhythms, B. Go rock, yo, go follow up. If y'all don't know about my bro, B, man, this is who behind Gravy, man, who behind, man. All my shit, man. They do everything. Even if other music come in, man, it's the bro, man. If y'all don't know, that confused joint y'all niggas be loving, he behind that. He behind so many records, man. Go to Rudy Rhythms, man.